Filippo Juvera. Filippo Juvera, 7 March, 1678-31, January 1736, was an Italian architect active in a late Baroque style, who worked primarily in Italy, Spain, and Portugal. Biography Juvera was born in Messina, Sicily, to a family of goldsmiths and engravers. After spending his formative years with his family in Sicily, where he designed Messina's festive settings for the coronation of Philip V of Spain and Sicily, 1705, there he studied architecture with Carlo and Francisco Fontana. The first phase of his independent career was occupied with designs for ceremonies and celebrations, and especially with set designs for theaters. Juvera's set designs incorporate the scena per angolo, literally scenes at an angle. The exact origin of this style is unclear. Ferdinando Galli by Bina claims to have invented it in his treatise Architetura Civile 1711. However, the style was clearly in use before then, including in the works of Juvara. This style differed from the one-point perspective sets that had been developed in the 16th century and had reached their apogee in the 17th century c. for example, the work of Giacomo Torley. A couple of early drawings by Juvere, dated 1706, are associated with the Titro S. Bartolomeo, Naples, 1706, though whether he actually completed the set designs for the theater is unknown. The majority of his work in theater and set design was in Rome under the patronage of Cardinal Ottoboni. He assisted in the rebuilding of the Cardinal's private theater in the Palazzo della Cancelleria and also designed sets for operas performed within the theater. The first opera for which Juvera designed all the sets was Costantino Pio. The libretto was by Cardinal Ottoboni, and the music was by Carlo Francisco Pallaroli C., 1653-1723. The opera was premiered in 1709 and was one of the first operas to appear after the lifting of papal bans on secular theater. It also inaugurated Ottoboni's newly renovated private theater. He also worked on set designs for performances sponsored by Ottoboni at the Titro Capranica. His other main patron in Rome was Queen Marie Casimir Louise de Lagrange Darqueen, the widowed Queen of Poland, for whom Juvera produced set designs for the operas performed in her small domestic theater in the Palazzo Zaccari. In 1713, a theater project took him to Genoa. In 1706, Juvera won a contest for the new sacristy at the St. Peter's, organized by Pope Clement Roman XI, and became a member of the prestigious Accademia di San Luca. In 1708, he created his first important non-theatrical architectural work, and the only one realized in Rome, the small but superbly executed Antimoro Chapel in the church of San Girolamo della Carita, which he conceived in intimate cooperation with his close friend, the French sculptor Pierre Le Gros, who was responsible for carrying out the sculptural composition. Juvera was also an engraver, his book of engravings of sculpted coats of arms appeared in 1711, Racolta di Veritarg, Fat da Professori Primariae di Roma. After some time in Rome, Juvera spent some time in his native Messina where he developed ambitious plans never completed for building along the harbour side with a massive curved palace facade for residences and businesses. He was engaged in some projects in Lombardy, including a monumental altar for the sanctuary church of Caravaggio never built, and substituted by a smaller work by architect Carlo Giuseppe Merlo, and the altar for the Bergamo Cathedral. He also designed the decorative bell tower now leaning for the Cathedral of Bellano. Churches in Turin Juvera's period of most intensive activity as an architect began in 1714, when he was recruited to Piedmont, where Victor Amadeus Roman II of Savoy first employed him in a scenographic project, then elevated Juvera to the position of chief court architect. Juvera designed the facade of the Church of Santa Cristina 1715-1718, the Church of San Filippo, the Church of Santa Croce, the Basilica della Natavita, and the Chapel of San Giuseppe 1725 in the Church of Santa Teresa in Turin. He also built in tier in the Church of the Blessed Virgin of the Carmine, 1732-1736, 
where the space is concentrated around the central hall with the scenographic effect of light falling from above. He also helped decorate the interior of many churches in Turin. One of Duvara's masterworks, the Basilica Church of Superga, was built in 1731 and rises at the top of a mountain overlooking the city of Turin. It was part picturesque monument and part royal mausoleum for the family of Savoy. Reputedly, the site was chosen because of a vow taken here by the then Duke and future King, Victor Emanius Roman II of Savoy, as he surveyed the field of operations while defending the city from the besieging French armies during the Battle of Turin. Construction was arduous and took over fourteen years, including two years to flatten the mountain top, and at incredible cost and effort to bring the stones and supplies to the peak. Behind the church was a monastery. The classical portico is appended to a centralized church with a highly vertical, 75-meter baroque dome. The latter creates a mountain atop a mountain effect. He also built other churches, including the bizarre Barminus Church of San Gregorio in Messina, Sicily. In Mantua, he added a tall buttress dome to the Alberti Church of Sant'Andrea. Palaces in Portugal the fame obtained in Piedmont led to demand for his talent and capacities at some of the richest noble and royal courts of Europe. In 1719 he was in Portugal, planning the palace at Mafra for King John v. 1920 after which he travelled to London and Paris. The project of Filippo Juvera for the Royal Palace of Lisbon was planned starting in 1719 as an ambitious palatial complex alongside the Tagus River in Lisbon. The project included not only a monumental royal palace for King John V and the Portuguese royal court, as well as a new cathedral for the Patriarch of Lisbon. During his stay in Portugal he also made schemes for the creation of a monumental lighthouse in Lisbon at the mouth of the Tagus River with the Atlantic Ocean. Palaces in Northern Italy The Palace of Stupinigi 1729-1731 was built to be the royal hunting lodge some six miles outside of Turin. The huge layout and highly decorated interiors made this palace a grand setting for summer retreats. The massive oval central pavilion, topped by a bronze stag fronted with large arched windows and extending into angled wings, is the mixture of classicism and whimsy that describes the ornamented delights of Italian Rococo. Juvera fulfilled the needs of his patron for classical grandeur, but with the baroque urge to decorate, to construct buildings as if they were made with curling ribbons. The pavilion interior, highly decorated with stucco and gilded details, fulfills the expectations further. Juvera also received a commission to restore and refurbish the massive palace complex of the Savoy monarchy at Venaria Real, called the Rigia di Venaria Real, and its church of San Tuberto. The latter, in its unfinished state, sports eclectic influences with an octagonal dome and embracing wings arching outward. One of his masterworks in palace construction is the facade 17-1821 of the Palazzo Madama in central Turin. It recalls the formality of Palladio's Palazzo Chiricati, but with the enhancement of detail and windows. While the facade appears to house an airy piano nobile, it in fact is merely a scenic, almost theatrical gesture, sheltering a grandiose entry stairway entrance to a medieval castle. But this work was also part of an ambitious program to recast the crowded, medieval layout of central Turin into a more open and planned set of connected plazas. He also designed the royal gate of the sanctuary of Oropa. Juvera also built the third enlargement of Turin to the west according to the orthogonal system introduced by Escanio Vitazzi and Carlo di Castellamont, the project included construction of Palazzo Martini di Sagala 1716 and of the Quartieri Militari 1716-1728. He helped design the Court of Appeals in Turin, a work completed by his successor with the House of Savoy, Benedetto Alfieri. He also helped design a palace in Milan. He created designs never completed for updating the castle of Rivoli. The Neapolitan Corrado de Quinto was among the artists that Juvera invited to help decorate palaces, such as the Villa della Regina in Turin. Palaces in Madrid 
On Christmas Eve in 1734, the ancient royal residence of the Alcazar in Madrid was destroyed by fire. This prompted the Bourbon King of Spain, Philip V, to request Juvara to supervise the construction of a new palace. By April 1735, the architect had moved to Madrid and began planning for the construction. The plans we have would have created an even larger structure than the present one with ample gardens. The linear façade has a formal rigidity lacking in some of his other works. He additionally executed designs for the façade of the summer palace of Grania de San Ildefonso and for some portions of Palacio Real de Aranjuz. Juvera, however, died suddenly by January of 1736, less than nine months after arriving to Spain. While a wooden mock-up was built of his plans for the royal palace, all his designs there were executed after his death by his pupils, including Giovanni Battista Sacchetti. Influence Some writers noting that Juvera's early training was in Rome attribute his style to the instruction of Carlo Fontana, but Juvera was eclectic in production, and seems to have imbibed many other influences, including the more adventurous architecture of Pietro da Cortona and Francesco Borromini. He was also likely influenced by the works of Garino Garini. Baroque architects strongly influenced by Juvera include Bernardo Vitone and Benedetto Olfieri. Juvera and Johann Pfister von Erlach influenced one another through the medium of engravings. Juvera's work, along with much of Baroque art and architecture, fell out of favor with the rise of neoclassicism. In 1994, a major exhibition of his designs was held in Genoa and Madrid.